Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to talk about how to properly change the filters on your Mavic Pro, as well as this neat, nifty little tool I found on Thingiverse that I 3D printed to help me out. So, one of the things is a sidebar. It is really worthwhile if you don't have a 3D printer, but you're into drones like I am, get a 3D printer. I'll have some suggested links down below to some smaller units that are easy to start out with. So you can print out stuff like this. There's a ton of stuff out on Thingiverse. What? You don't, you've don't? never heard of Thingiverse? Thingiverse is this huge repository of 3D designs which you can print out for free. Uh, I'll also have a link to that down below. And with that, I printed this guy out because I've been finding myself changing filters a lot in the field. So I thought I'd do this brief episode to, you know, uh, help you guys out. Uh, you know, if you're new to filters, how does it all work and everything, we're going to cover that in this episode. And I'm going to show you how this tool can make your life easier. So let's back up a little bit. And one of the things I typically do is I use this bubble gimbal guard with the lock in here. Thank you very much, Stan Cook, for sharing this with me. Uh, but again, for changing filters, this really doesn't work because this covers up the camera. But what you want is to have the camera actually locked down. And this is where I insert the uh, stock uh, gimbal lock that comes with it. So the camera's locked and it takes any of the back pressure because one of the things that you're going to do is you're going to press this filter on. Now one of the things you know you can you can pull it off and you can put it on like this but it's a little bit you know I, I tend to, especially in the field end up getting my fingers on it and fingerprints and that kind of stuff so it's looking for an easier way to do this and that's where I came up with this little gizmo pretty simple little thing it's got two finger holes and you can compress it and kind of a long story short it just presses over the top of this filter as so and you squeeze this and it pulls it off and it pushes it back on. I usually give it like a little twist and then spread it apart with my fingers. And basically what you do is you take this and press this on and I usually give it a little bit of turn and then I try spreading it out with my fingers such as that and boom, now this filter is pressed on here and without my fingerprints on the lens. And again, to take it off very much the same when I'm in the field, I just press it on, compress this. I can take it, drop it directly into the box by uh, by spreading it back out again, I can pick up another filter. Again, I just usually push it with a little turn, spread it out, and boom. Some filters are tighter than others, uh, so you might have to spread it a little bit more. But I just kind of press my fingers in the middle like that to spread it out. So printed very nice. Um, I've run the print uh, up in the corner of me printing this out in my Delta printer. So it only was about 30 some minutes to print it out, so not a big deal. And you know, you can see how easy it is. Now, obviously, once I'm done with this, remember to remove your gimbal guard and you just kind of pop this outer gimbal lock, sorry, and now you're ready to go fly. So it's just as easy as that. And again, this takes the tension off the camera. This keeps your fingers off the lens and it also helps provide even pressure because a lot of times if you're just going to use uh, your fingers, if I get this back on here, it takes a little bit. That's one of the reasons I don't like it. So one of the things back to using your fingers when you pull this off or push it back on you're only really getting pressure on two points what this does is allow you to get pressure on multiple points or basically all around the outside and once i get this on here again you kind of press in the middle of this and you have to get this on here and then it just pulls off like that and then you can again pop it in your your box by spreading it out I might actually try remixing this to put some tabs on the side. It would be kind of nice maybe to have some tabs or something so you can pull it apart a little bit easier. My fingers are a little bit large. But again, I just try to push it in the middle of there and it pops out. So I really like this for in the field swapping filters. I'm going to be doing more filters. As a matter of fact, in upcoming videos, I'm going to show you how to make your own filters for the Mavic Pro uh, to do some kind of neat things. But that's another video. So anyways, hopefully you found this video helpful and useful. If you did, smash that thumbs up. We always like the likes. Uh, share it with your friends. They got a Mavic Pro. Hey. And I also have links to, I've got a bunch of um, uh, curated filter pages. So I love filters. Um, and anyways, so let me know what you're thinking about for lunch. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know how you change your filters below too. Cheers.